All right, so I just want to give you an example of what a collective reading would look like. Um, right now, this is universal energy. You got the two of cups in the middle as the main energy, which would be right now, everyone is focusing on a specific partnership. Um, they're dressed in armor. Um, with an angel above that's distributing um, the resources equally between the two of them. People right now are looking for relationships and partnerships that have equal balance of give and take. Um, because of the fact that we have been in an unequal balance of give and take. And it's put us under heavy burdens. Um, yesterday, this card here, the 10 of wands, which is the heaviest of burdens, 10 is the highest number in the deck. It's the highest, heaviest load of burdens that you can carry. And we're completing the end of this cycle. Right now, we're in the 10 of wands, but we're in the process of releasing it. Yesterday, the 10 of wands came in in the upright. And today it came in in the reverse. So with everything that's laid out here, I'm going to just explain everything as quickly as I can because I think universal energy helps everyone to understand where, why they're, why they're at, where they're at, where they have been, and where things are headed. So... Um, right next to it, you have the Ace of Cups, which is an emotional offer given by the universe. Um, and then you have the Five of Cups, which is, you know, the cups are spilled, which represent cups of emotion, um, being in despair. Um, three cups are spilled, two cups are sitting behind him, standing up. There's still two cups. There's still hope in, in a situation, no matter how horrible things have been. You know, there's all you know always a way. There's more that the uh, the universe has to offer us. We just have to open our eyes and look for it. But there are crows in the background, and you know they are black crows. So you know it can represent just a time of sorrow, um, and you know spilled milk and lost them uh, up crying crying and emotions being spilled so that right there is clarified by the five of pentacles which is you know feeling like you're left out in the cold um just feeling desolate um feeling like you know you've been ignored in a situation um and that things haven't been balanced. And then you have the Ten of Swords, which again, the Ten is the highest in the tarot. Ten is the absolute end of a situation. It's the most pain that you can feel. It's the biggest betrayal. Um, we've been in this Ten of Swords energy for a really long time. Um, but right now, it's coming out in the reverse which shows past energy. It means it's something that has happened. It's something that we have been feeling. So to put those together, feeling left out in the cold, feeling, you know, at a loss after being in the, after receiving the worst betrayal that we possibly could and being in our emotions about it, being in a dark place. You know, um, right here, again, this is an opportunity that we thought, a door that we thought was going to be opened by God, an emotional offer. We basically thought we were going to have a situation unfold for us, whether it's a partnership in um, work or a relationship, we thought that it would you know, something would work out from it. But unfortunately, it's clarified here by the Ace of Wands in the reverse, which is the hand of the universe 
offering the rod of new beginnings of passion and action and it's in the reverse so that means that the wish was not granted so then you have the eight of pentacles also clarifying the ace of cups and the eight of cups is working diligently on something okay putting in much effort and work in order to see a manifestation and then you see the spider with the cobweb in the back that shows that it's been being worked on for a really long time. But unfortunately, right now, it's in the reverse. So after all the work that's been put in, um, pretty much not really seeing a benefit from the situation. And then, um, like I showed, the Ten of Wands is now in the reverse. So we're in the process of laying down these very heavy burdens. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in the upright. Yesterday, it was in the reverse. So today, it's showing that the energy is actually getting, it's starting to pick up. Um, we've been in a very stagnated energy for a while, um, but it's showing that this energy is actually starting to pick up and we are slowly um laying these burdens down we're beginning to see we we've been seeing the clarity feeling the burdens and now things are starting to move again so the chariot which is a traveling card it's a card of movement um it's actually in the reverse so it's clarifying what i just said the wheel is turning after we've been in a stagnated position we haven't been going anywhere we've done everything's been put on hold so we've been wanting to travel in a new direction but everything has been at a standstill but this wheel of fortune right here is starting to turn and we are slowly placing our burdens down the very heavy burdens that we've been carrying and you know, the wheel is turning to where this chariot is going to flip in the upright. Right now, it's just saying that we have not been going anywhere. But the wheel is spinning. So as things are slowly starting to move. Um, right here under the Two of Cups, we have the Magician. The Magician is pretty much taking every resource that we have in order to manifest this new partnership but before we can manifest the new partnership the tower has to crumble and the thing about it that's the process that we have been in we've been in this process of being in this burning tower everything that you've ever known everything that you have ever um wished for or thought might come true certain things you're seeing just really are not coming to fruition so we're having to face these truths and that's what the tower is it's seeing the truth for what it is 